Hola, por favor, and welcome to your daily dose of Fortnite. Today we're going to be going over the quest Gimme 3 in the Stonewood quest page 3 of 10. You can see here it says we need to save three survivors in successful missions and complete a mission in a 3 plus zone. So to create a mission or complete a mission in a 3 plus zone, we have to pick one in a 3 plus. So if I pick this yellow one, you'll see it's a power level of 1. So that won't count towards our quest. Um, it won't count towards the portion of completing a 3 plus zone. Uh, the survivor saved, it can be in any zone. So that would work. Um, but we'll go ahead and pick this orange one. You can see it has a power level of 3. And we will load into this mission and start it up. All right, here I we go. We are lasers in and the mission. It's time to fight the storm. Um, we need to complete Bonus the fight the storm, so we need to find the atlas at some point. But first, we need to save three survivors. So we'll kind of go around here and look for some survivors. Alright, so you can see I heard a guy yell help. Um, on the map, this little blue circle, uh, that means there's going to be a survivor in there, in that area somewhere. So we'll go into that area and we will um, take a look around and see if we can find them. And where could he be? What if he's in this house? Yep, so you can see on the mini map up at the top right, he appeared now. You can see him through the window, and then on the big map, we can also see him. So we'll walk in here and talk to him. You saved my life! And there we go, Thanks. one of three. So now we just gotta find a couple more. Pick up some blue glow for the Atlas later on. You can see that we do have a uh, bonus objective to place the Atlas fast. So we will try to find it before that timer runs out while we're searching for our survivors. Over here! Oh, and there's another one, probably in this house. Let's just go ahead and make our own door. Oh, nope. He appeared over in this house. And you can see on the mini-map, you see the little arrow above his head? That means he is above us in elevation, so he's going to be up above. So we'll go ahead and build a ramp up here to get to the second floor, and now the arrow disappears, which means we are on the same elevation Target not yet as the located. survivor. And there he is. Thanks again for your help. See you soon. Two of three. Um, side note: when you find these toolboxes, I would always recommend searching them and then destroying them. You'll get uh, some pretty decent items for creating traps and weapons, um, and if you do enough of them, it, it adds up. So let's see if we can find one more survivor and find the atlas. I can find one of these things eventually. Oh, another survivor. See him on our map. Running around over here. We'll try to avoid this group of husks for now. And looks like he's above us. Must be on one. the roof. Keep searching. Over here. Help! And still above us. There she is. I can't believe it. And there we go. Three survivors. So now all we have to do is finish this mission, uh, complete the atlas, and we will get credit for our quest. There's the atlas. Finally. Target located. Drop the atlas on the target when you're ready. So we'll go ahead and drop it on the target. We're up on this three. Looks like we woke up the locals. Yeah. 
please. What I'm gonna do. Alright, so we're gonna clear all this up. Atlas. And we'll go ahead and go with the pyramid again. Blue glow in it. See That's where they're gonna blue spawn. Blue. Now build defenses around the atlas and activate. So it looks when you're like ready. they're gonna spawn in two places, uh, one to the east and one to the west. So if we take a look, they're down this hill, which most likely means they will walk up this ramp here. Let's go ahead and create our pyramid. And we'll just go ahead and put our base on top for now. And let's check out the other spawn. Looks like it's up on this hill over here. And a little bit to the right of the hill. So, what we're going to do is put some walls on the top of this ramp. Because I want them to walk around. And actually, we'll see if we can get them to walk all the way around to the left side here, or I guess the right as we look at it. So they all come in one area. Put a couple walls here to discourage them from going this way. And hopefully what that will do is make them all path this way and then towards the atlas through this this little tunnel here so let's take a look at what we got traps we can build darts and floor spikes so what we're gonna do here is put a couple floors and some walls And let's see, we'll build some floor spikes. We must be out of herbs, so we can't make any more duct tape. Yep. So, we've got one floor spike we can put down. And we'll see about the darts. How many of those can we make? Just one, because we're low on planks. So we'll put that. Yo, hey there! Right here, so when they walk by, they get uh -huh. shot in the back, and then it'll keep shooting them the whole time they're going through this tunnel, and they'll be slowed. So that should slow down the progress from the husks over there. That way, we can focus on these husks over here. And we will see if we can get some planks here. There's some planks, maybe some herbs. So maybe we can get a couple more traps down. Alright, so, found a few traps in our travels, we know they're going to come from this way, so we will go ahead and put some darts here that shoots them when they're walking up the ramp, and we got our flame trap here, just put a wall 
there, and a wall here, and we'll put some more darts here, so that'll shoot them when they're walking up, they'll get flamed, and then they'll get shot in the back, that should do enough damage to thin out the herd, and over here we will place the dynamo that we found, just for a little extra damage, and I'd say we are ready to go. Alright, there you go. We completed the uh, Fight the Storm mission, so that will be the mission that we needed to do for our quest. And um, I will show you the rewards here once we load out of the mission. Obviously you don't have to solo these, I'm just doing that to show that you can. Um, but when you group up, group up with up to three other people. It makes it much easier, a lot, a lot more firepower. There you can see we gained two skill points, 194,000 XP. And let's see what kind of loot checks we get. All right, we made it past level three. And we got a level four loot chest. and see what rewards we get out of it. Alright, so three people, that's from the survivors we saved, 46 event gold, 8 copper ore, 360 hero experience, and a axe transformation schematic. So, right now we're not going to worry about this. I will put a link to a transformation video that I did that explains what these are in the description of this video and then also at the end of the video I'll have a link to the to that video if you are curious on those and then for completing Commander, we got the our give me three review. quest listen to this we are gonna go After ahead days and of hiding get in an abandoned survivor shack, XP I expected to be torn apart by rabbit storm and monsters. an uncommon survivor but thanks to Ray and the commander so, I am as always dead. guys thanks Five for stars. watching and have a great day Five stars.